three, two, one. Hello everybody and welcome. Yesterday saw an exciting event happening. Yes, you can see it right here. Serial number 5, SN5 of Starship took off for its first flight. It was a 150 meter hop and it just took only a few seconds, but this was something to see. I mean, this is probably the most Kerbal contraption I have ever seen flying. Of course, on just one Raptor engine, the serial number 27. And what we can see here from this view is they also tested some sort of landing legs. More on that a little bit later. And after that short flight, it touched down safely and appears to be intact. So congratulations to SpaceX on this fantastic achievement. And I thought I'd make a little bit of a comparison to the other thing that already did a hop on a Raptor, the Starhopper. And I tried to line up uh, both ignitions at the same time. So this is what we can see here. On the left, of course, SN5. On the right, of course, Starhopper. Both are rising into the sky. Both had luckily great weather to, to have a view of that. And of course, the drone shooting in 4K. Of course, uh, SN5 has to do more corrections than the Starhopper because its engine is uh, not put smack in the middle but a little bit to the side of the center of mass and of course Starhopper has fixed legs and not the landing legs that are extended but yeah what, what we see here is that I think that in comparison to Starhopper SN5 landed a little bit earlier Mm, could be a difference of frame rate or, or me lining it up. But anyhow, there's something else that uh, we can see is that the Raptor engine is burning. I'm not sure I would want to fly with that, but it seemed to work fine. And the call out at the end was burn full duration. Yeah, on the other hand, the landing legs, uh, they deployed purely mechanical as it seems, so there were no hydraulics or, or anything like that involved and they just snapped into place and are probably held there until they are manually put back into their upright position for the next flight. We can also see them deploy here in this wonderful slow-mo that Everyday Astronaut was filming uh, close to location. So this is a wonderful shot and of course we also I uh, have this shot here from Aspadra where we can see uh, the comparison between Starhopper and SN5 on the ground on Boca Chica. Aspadra, uh, of course, also one of the streamers. And this leads me to, to my next item I want to talk about. If you're interested in these, these uh, SpaceX developments, there are many people who are live streaming the testing. One of them I mentioned already, Everyday Astronaut, and then there is Aspedra on the top right. We have NASA Spaceflight, uh, supported by Boca Chica Gal, who, whose name is Mary. And then we have Labpedra as well, all of them providing fantastic footage of, of what has happened here, in addition to uh, what SpaceX is providing on their official channels. So yeah, marvelous to see from all of those angles, each of them providing a bit a different inside of the, fl the first flight, the first hop, the 150 meter hop of uh, SN5. But um, there was something else uh, people noticed during the startup. If you look to the lower right of the official SpaceX footage, you can see stuff flying away. What that debris is, we do not really know yet, or at least I haven't found any information at time of recording. But it seems to be some part of the launch pad or something below the launch pad that was blasted away by the sheer power of that Raptor engine. While the flying cylindrical tank took its power slide turn around. We can see here another close-up um, when zooming in on the slow-mo footage provided by NASA Spaceflight. Once again, you guys are doing a fantastic job out there. It, it's really great to see all of you enthusiasts providing this excellent footage. Thanks a lot. 
If you haven't subscribed to these people already, please do now. I, give, I, I put the links in the description down below. Okay, so what is next for SN5 or for the Starship development in general? Well, Elon Musk said on Twitter that they are going to perform a few small hops and they want to smooth out the launch process and hopefully potentially prevent the Raptor engine from burning during firing. When they do that, they might also do some, some potential hop and relight where they perform something like what we did see here, a 150 meter or maybe even a shorter hop, and then fire up the Raptor engine again to prove the point of Starship, which of course is to one day travel to the planets and land on a moon or on another planet, and then of course reignite and fly back. After all those hop attempts or hop improvements, they will aim for a high altitude flight with the body flaps. Those of course are necessary to perform that infamous belly flop maneuver that we might even see when they are going to perform those higher altitudes flights. We will see how that's going to turn out. Maybe they will also already mount the nose cone on the, on the thing. We, we will see. If this is going to be SN5 or another newer version of Starship, we will see, but it's exciting to see all of this progress happening in Boca Chica in such fast uh, succession. So keep your eyes open for more updates on the topic, not only on this channel, but there are of course multiple people who report on this and of course all the streamers I mentioned before who provided with fantastic footage of what's going on at the SpaceX facility. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.